were very righteous and it is a waste to let them go and nothing is, is, is established for their remembrance why don't you build a statue for their appearance in order for you to use them as means of encouragement whenever you feel low and you're not worshiping Allah properly notice to worship Allah properly you look at these statues you remember these men so it will encourage you to worship Allah better so they took the advice of the shaitan and they established these statues time passed and generations came and they did not understand the objective of this statue so people started dedicating some of their worship to these statues as interceders with Allah not to worship them alone to worship them alongside with Allah and if you read Surah Nuh وَقَالُوا لَا تَذَرُنَّ آلِهَتَكُمْ do not, they said, do not abandon your gods. وَلَا تَذَرُنَّ وُدًّا وَلَا سُوَاعًا وَلَا يَغُوثًا وَيَعُوقًا وَنَسْرًا These are the names of these five brothers who died. The disbelievers, when Nuh was sent to them and said, leave alone these statues, worship Allah alone, they said, لَا تَذَرُنَّ آلِهَتَكُمْ Do not leave your gods alone. Do not leave وُدًّا وُد His name, سُوَاعًا يَغُوثًا يَعُوقًا وَنَسْرًا These five gods. Subhanallah. Shirk began like this. The shaitan, and this is the tricks of the shaitan. He doesn't tell you sometimes automatically come do the, the evil. He will slowly but surely pull you in. Gradually. Until he puts you down in the hole. That's why we have to be careful of the tricks of the shaitan. That's why Allah told us in the Quran, uh, lakum mubin. He is to you a clear enemy. So the shaitan will not tell you, you're a Muslim, you know zina, Adultery, fornication is something that is way out of your mind. A'udhu Billah. You wouldn't do it. So the shaitan will not tell you, Allah, go rape a woman in the street. Because this is something a Muslim would never do. Yani he, unless, yani, astaghfirullah. But yani, your iman prevents you. But he will tell you, why don't you speak to this woman and give her da'wah. And you start giving her da'wah. And then you start loving one another. Then you start sending love letters. The next thing you know, you fall into the same thing. That you were not supposed to fall in, but... He dragged you in from the little door until he brought you to where he wants. So if we knew the tricks of the shaitan, we'd be able to protect ourselves. And that's why we were a part of the deen of Islam is to say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. I seek refuge in Allah. Because if Allah controls the shaitan, it's not like the shaitan is independent. He has his own uh, establishment, his own property that is independent from Allah. He is under the command of Allah. Allah allowed him to do what he does. When you seek refuge in Allah, you ask Allah to protect you from His creation, the shaitan. So this is important that we know that. So anyways, the hadith, another hadith Qudsi says, Allah says, and who is more oppressing? Who is more oppressive than the one who goes and he tries to create like my creation? So Allah again attributed the term of creating. So how do we bring in a relationship with these texts? One time we say Allah is the only creator. Next thing you know, we have verses in a hadith that indicate that there are other creators. The Sheikh says, فَالْجَوَابُ أَنْ يُقَالْ إِنَّ الْخَلْقَ هُوَ الْإِيجَادِ وَهَذَا خَاصٌ بِاللَّهِ تَعَالَى أَمَّا تَحْوِيلُ الشَّيْءِ مِنْ صُورَ إِلَى أُخْرَى فَإِنَّهُ لَيْسَ بِخَلْقٍ حَقِيقَةً وَإِنْ, وإن سُمِّيَ خَلْقًا بِاعْتِبَارِ التَّكْوِينِ لَكِنَّهُ فِي الْوَاقِعِ لَيْسَ بِخَلْقٍ تَامٍ فَمَثَلًا هذا النجار صنع من الخشب بابا فيقال خلق بابا لكن مادة هذه الصناعة الذي خلقها هو الله عز وجل لا يستطيع الناس كلهم مهما بلغوا في القدرة أن يخلقوا عود أراك أبدا ولا أن يخلقوا ذرة ولا أن يخلقوا ذبابا He said the answer is creation is to bring something into existence creation is to bring something into existence and this is specific and only for Allah Azza wa Jal alone as for transforming something from one, one uh, matter to another, this is also called linguistically khalq. But it is not in essence. The original creation is from Allah. And the Shaykh mentioned example. He said this is not really creating. Although it could be mentioned, it could be the same term could be used to it because of you putting this thing together. Although it didn't exist before. But it is not uh, in its ultimate sense. For example, if a... Uh, uh, what do you call the person who... Carpenter. Carpenter. He builds a door. 
You could say he created this door. You see, I created an email account. Huh? I created an, e created an email account. Okay, create really. But that term is used. The term is used. You create a door, you created a, a concept, you create something. But the essence, but who made the wood? Allah Azza wa Jal. All you did was get something Allah created and you did something to it and now it has another reality, another element. But at the end of the day, it may be called creation linguistically. But is it really creating? No. Because if make wood, make the wood, if anyone can do this, then there will be an issue. But no one can do this. You understand that how you, this is understood. So the Shaykh said, anytime people are using something, they're using material that Allah has already created. All they're doing is transforming it from one phase to another phase. It is linguistically said, khalq, creating, but not in its ultimate sense, which is bringing something into existence from nothing. Tayyip, from scratch as they say. This only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even that they do right now from cloning the animals. Tell them don't clone an animal, create an animal. Make one and blow a soul into it. Let it move in front of me. They will never be able to do that. But they try to use tricks. And this is all, uh, and, and Allah says in the Quran, uh, uh, He said that, anyways, the Shaykh said the people will not even be able to create, uh, you know, the siwak. Yeah. Not even a miswak, not even a stick, not even a, a grain, not even an ant, and not even a fly. And the evidence for that, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Ya ayyuha nas duriba mathalun fastami'u lah. Oh mankind, a, an example has been struck. So listen to it. This is Allah speaking to his creation. Inna ladhina tad'una min duni Allahi la yakhluqu dhubaban wa la wujtama'u lah. Those who you are calling on to besides Allah will not create a fly even if they were all to come together. Even they were all to come together in assistance one another to create it. Even if the fly was to take something from them, they cannot even retrieve it. If you're eating some food and the fly came and had a lick of your fool in tamiz, some of the fool, and went, for the sake of Allah, can you get it back? Khalas, it took it, digested it, it changed, now it's part of its blood. You're going to squish the fly, tayyib. Get the tamiz back. Get the fool back. No more. This is how helpless we are. And this is us human beings who we have, we can function. Then what about a statue that you had to create? You had to carve. Uh, you need to wash him, shower him, uh, wipe him, keep him fresh. Yani, if you have the ability to do something, you can do a fly. So what about these statues of the people who are worshipping besides Allah? Yani, it's even more difficult for them to do anything like that. Da'af al-talibu wal matlub. Allahu Akbar. Uh, oh, subhanAllah. Let me see here. 7.09. Okay. We will be, uh, we have a couple of minutes for Isha, for the Adhan. So we will stop insha'Allah. Jazakum uh, khairan. والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. We will continue with the Allah Azza wa Jal next week. Hopefully uh, we'll try to bring more people to attend for the benefit to maximize. سبحانك اللهم بحمدك شهد لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, don't worry, inshallah. It's, when you, yeah. <laughs> I have a book here. Mm. Written by Mahmoud Garida Murad. It's also Akida and Fiqh. Yes. Islamic days of Akida and Fiqh. Yes. I have this book. Oh, yeah, you have it? It's excellent, mashallah. Sorry. It's different than this one. It's English? It's in English, yes. It's different than this one. This one deals with the Aqeedah, of course, initially. But this is a special aspect of the Aqeedah, which is the names and attributes of Allah. This one is more general for the new Muslim, for somebody who's going. This is dealing with something that is very much specific. And it's something that the Muslims have differed about tremendously. So, uh, 